So time to do some shooting. Now, as was pointed out to me by Carl, this actually has the, the handling characteristics, if you close your eyes, of a kel P32, and he is not wrong. Uh, the kel is a little shorter in the grip, shorter in the barrel, but this kind of has that same very squarish and very thin profile to it, which is interesting. Beyond that, kind of feels like shooting a 22, because it kind of is a 22. Got minimal recoil to it. Um, it is a little bit snappy just because it is such a narrow frame that what recoil it does have does come straight into a fairly concentrated area, but not unpleasant in any way. And of course it does lock open when it's empty. I'll tell you what, I was shooting, that first string at least, at a little steel target at about 20 yards. If this is a really good armor-piercing cartridge, we should see some evidence of that on the target. Let's go take a look. All right, so the big hits on here are 45s. That's, these are 45s. These little guys, that's from the PSM. And this is full metal jacket ammo, standard Russian service ammunition for the PSM. And there is absolutely no dimpling at all on this target. And this is only a quarter inch thick pistol target. It is a good pistol target, it's one of HMGs, but uh, this PSM has absolutely no impact on it whatsoever. So next, let's go and take a look at what this does on Kevlar. I have the front panel here from a soft body armor vest. This is a level 3A vest from American Body Armor. So we're going to step back about three yards, and put a couple rounds through it, then we'll also try it with a Tokarev. Okay. Die, CIA pig! All right, so we got our entry holes. One, two, three four, and there's uh, five down there. And we got one, two, three, four, five nice divots in the wood. One, two, three, four. And the fifth bullet we can actually see in this hole. So all five rounds went clean through that level 3A vest. Now 3A is in fact the, uh, the best level of soft only um, body armor as, as is rated by the NIJ. So what I want to do now is see if a Tokarev will also go through this. I'm just going to go ahead and use this exact same piece of armor. Let's see if this is better or worse than the legendary KGB Assassin's Pistol. Tokarev, Polish surplus ammo, pretty standard stuff, FMJ. All right, let's uh, see what we got here. We have, I went ahead and circled the PSM hits. So in addition to those, we have one, two, three, four, and five. And of those, four of them went through. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight complete penetrations uh, into or through the wood, which meant four out of five of the Tokarev rounds went through, four out of five of the PSM rounds went through. The only difference is that, well, there are two differences. One of the PSM rounds embedded in the wood one of the Tokarev rounds dented the wood, but stayed in the vest, in here somewhere. Not sure where it is. The other interesting thing to me, and I don't know how well this comes through on the camera, but the Tokarev really kind of messed this vest up worse than the PSM. The PSM rounds made nice little holes in it. The Tokarev, you've got little bits of Kevlar that are peeling out the back now. You saw the vest actually moved, jumped when I hit it. The Tokarev was imparting a lot more energy. What the PSM is able to do is take the smaller amount of energy it has to begin with, but focus it more effectively to get through something like a Kevlar vest. So the PSM does have some pretty decent 
uh, penetration potential, as evidenced by the fact that it does it as well as the Tokarev, which is renowned for being a high penetration gun and cartridge. However, the PSM wasn't actually designed to do that, and if it had been, they could have made it something like the FN57 round, higher velocity, higher pressure, and much more um, effective at armor penetration. Anyway, this was a lot of fun to try out, very interesting. Uh, you know, if you do want, if you do need armor penetration, a Tokarev will do it. You don't have to go and find yourself a unicorn of a PSM. I would like to give a big thank you to Mike Carrick from Arms Heritage Magazine for allowing me to do this shooting with his PSM. Thank you very much, Mike. And uh, if you enjoy this, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and Full30, and check us out next week for more armor-penetrating Soviet pistols.